Well, tonight we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the meeting of the Lone Ranger. You know how those range dinners are. <laughs> yes, Tonto, Tonto, Tonto. My golly, it's been a long and happy association, hasn't I'll it? I bet it has. Yes. Indeed it has. This party, uh, it's a fabulous occasion. I'm sure you're both very happy to be here. Oh, Tonto's not here. They wouldn't let him in the hotel. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, well, we've come a long way. First few years, they wouldn't even let him in the comic strip. <laughs> Can you tell us, Lone Ranger, how did the two of you first meet? It was a very dramatic moment. Huh? I had just ridden into this clearing, big boy, when I saw this poor devil up on his horse. Yeah? A neck uh, was hung on a noose. Ooh. That was thrown over the limb of a tree. Oh. I pulled out my gun, and I faced the leader of the lynch mob, and with one single shot, I shot the gun out of his hand and stopped the lynching. Oh, I'll bet Tonto's been grateful ever since. Why? He wanted to lynch that guy. <laughs> Where did it go? Yeah, thank you. There you are, Lone Ranger. That's right. Never hold a gun like that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Lone Ranger, everyone in our audience uh, has been dying to know, why do you wear the mask? Am I wearing a mask? Well, <laughs> of course you are. I thought I was doing my Arlene Francis impression. <laughs> no, you see, I was actually one of the original, seven of the original Texas Rangers. There were seven of us, and all and all, and one day we were ambushed, and all were killed but one. Ah. So no one will ever know which one I am. Well, which one are you? I'm Dopey. <laughs> I thought that it was going over the rocks. Sneezy sneezed himself to death, and Grumpy grumped himself to death. You don't want to ever grump yourself to death. Lone Ranger, is there any other reason you wear a mask? Well, yes, once I took it off and no one seemed to recognize me. <laughs> I gotta run. I hear the Butch Cavendish gang is in the area. Oh. Yes. Are you gonna make one of your famous leaps onto your horse silver for us? I hope so. All right. <laughs> steady, me boy, steady, fella. Guys, move the horse. Now back to We're about to talk to Mr. Dick Tracy, who has a very unusual announcement to make. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Tracy. That's not easy to do with that. <laughs> Mr. Tracy, you've held. Hey, I had it grilled when I was a kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a kick to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Certainly looks mm. like it. <laughs> Nothing I like better than a wise finger, huh? <laughs> Mr. Tracy, you've held this party to make a special announcement. Could you tell us now just what that announcement is? Yes, I hereby announce to this nation that I'm hiring a top doctor and I'm going to have my chin fixed. Oh, we're having your chin bob, eh? Yes. Because every time I kiss my girl Tess too hot, I punch a hole in her neck. <laughs> Freaky out of me. It's kind of a, hello, Tess. I'll be home late. <laughs> How did you ever get such a... Wait a minute. She's busy. I'll call her on my other wrist. <laughs> uh, Mr. Tracy, how did you ever get such a pointed chin? Well, you see, that happened once when I stumbled face first into an electric pencil sharpener. <laughs> Mr. Tracy, what do you plan to do with your old chin once they remove it? I would plan to send it as a gift to Andy Gump. <laughs> as a detective, uh, Mr. Tracy, yes? do you carry a revolver? As a detective, I carry a forty-five revolver uh. right here in my holster. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's one thing I won't have to have removed. <laughs> no, don't worry. Chesterfield will draw it back. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Tracy. Oh, there. Uh, Mr. Tracy, maybe I'd better ask you just one more question. Yeah. As I recall, once before, you received the highest medal of France. And I think it was for some special detective work you did there. Isn't that right? Yes. The, yes, that, that, yes, that. Oh! Oh, <laughs> I thought you had the drop on me there for a minute. Yes. <laughs> I, I was once awarded that yes. very distinguished medal in France by the president who performed that marvelous ceremony oh. with me. You remember, he pinned the medals on my chest like that? Yes, I recall. And then he kissed me like this. Ah. ah. Oh. Oh. Mr. Tracy, oh. your chin is stuck to the side of my face. 
Sorry, now. I'll call the doctor. Maybe we... And now, back oh. to our studio. <laughs> this boy's a dear. I wish he'd better lay down on the couch. Back! Hello there. This is your Happy Days reporter, and I have my microphone here today in the modest but stylish apartment of one Miss Orphan Annie. And today... I'm a little chatterbox! <laughs> Hi there, fella. For one correction, please. This is Mandrake the Magician's pad. Oh. Yes, he lent it to us for the blast. I don't have any real home. With me, it's just kind of catch as catch can. <laughs> yeah. Now, could you speed this up? I want to get back to the punch bowl. I understand the catch and jammer kids laced it with some heavy juice. Uh, <laughs> if I'm not being too personal, Annie, uh, how old is our little girl today? I'm 40, clown, and I'm not your little girl. No, sir. I'm not anybody's little girl. I'm an orphan. Although, to tell you the truth, I've often wondered why Daddy Warbucks takes such an interest in me. <laughs> but let's not go into that sordid mess. Well, I'll tell you, you certainly don't look for you. Well, like they say, you're as old as you feel. Uh, how do you feel? With this. Sometimes I use this. <laughs> it depends where I am in relationship. <laughs> how old there. do you feel? Oh, well, let's see. I feel like I'm about 60, though. 60? Yes, I've been through a lot of garbage in my time, but I've managed to survive thanks to Daddy Warbucks. Annie is, of course, referring to her very close friend, mentor, and advisor, the mysterious Mr. Warbucks. What mysterious? Come on, fella. He's made a fortune in bombs, bullets, loves a good war. Politically, he's to the right of Cardinal Richelieu. They don't make him like Daddy Warbucks anymore. Bless you, Daddy Warbucks, wherever you are. It's a very, very happy occasion here tonight. A little orphan Annie is about to announce her engagement to some lucky man. Yes. Annie, can you tell us who the lucky man is that you're going to marry? I'm proud to announce that soon I'll be middle-isling it with Flash Gordon. <laughs> then after your marriage, you'll be... That's right. Little Orphan Gordon. Uh, just for the record. Huh? Are you looking at me, Annie? <laughs> are you kidding? Yes, I am. My eyes are so pure, aren't they? <laughs> oh. You see, my doctor was an ex-tiddlywink champion. <laughs> oh, you're cute. Little devil. This is your Happy Days reporter with Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for the Daily Planet. And here's Clark. Hi, folks. But in reality, you're Superman. That's right. I... What do you mean, Superman? I'm Clark Kent, my own man of reporter. <laughs> Clark, we all know. What? I kept that a closely guarded secret in this town for years. How did... <laughs> Clark, why don't, you, why don't you take off your suit? Go ahead. You got a booth? No. Do it right here. I've never done this before here. Go ahead. I'll hold your coat. Sure, out there, the folks won't mind. Eh? Not at all. Go ahead. Oh, it's kind of embarrassing. We'd love to see it. I guess you recognize me now, though, huh? Without the glasses? I don't know. Never done This it. is a first. This is a first, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did we see the full outfit? Yes, yes. Best I can. <laughs> I generally do this a lot better in an enclosed area. I'm sure the audience doesn't mind. This is a first, ladies and gentlemen. Stuck. One moment, please. Wait a minute. Just a second. Well, your tie don't here, Superman. Your tie is... Wait. Stop. Just don't pull it, will you, please? Don't pull it. Watch it, Superman. That wasn't... That wasn't the cape, was it, silly? Oh, I gotta fly it. Push it. There we are. Just take it. There we are. Leon. Let me fire some. I'll hold this for you. That's. Hope you really didn't need those glasses. <laughs> Only to see in Lois's place with you. Turn around underneath your face. You'll 
the boots. You need the boots, don't you, Superman? All right. Put them on later. <laughs> there we are. Just the ball. There we are. Get that? Just get this off. How long does this usually take you to do, Superman? Well, it depends on what's happening in, in town. It's a really you do all this dangerous in thing, like a meteor coming, ready to hit the planet. I, I, Something that requires your instantaneous action. Yes. It depends on whether the danger is inflicting me or not. You do all this in a phone book every time. No. Sometimes I use a closet or a, the back of a car. Once two cops came over and caught me undressing there. There, you've made it Superman. Ah. Ah. Superman, I must say, you're What's a lot that? heavier than you look in the funnies. <laughs> you certainly are. Nothing like a smart guy, huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Super. I know, everyone knows, that you can leap tall buildings in a single bound. And certainly we all have heard that you're more powerful than a locomotive. I love a good race with a choo-choo. Uh, I'm sure you are. Are you faster than a speeding bullet? Are you kidding? I'm ten times faster than a speeding bullet. Well, I happen to have a pistol here, Superman. Oh, a bullet race, and huh? I'd like to test this out if I can. Okay, anytime you're ready. Superman! <laughs> Superman! Superman, are you all right? I forgot my bulletproof underwear. Oh, Superman, I know a good doctor. Well, help me up. Love a guy. Superman. Give me my pants. Get my underwear first. Oh. Thank you. Here, Superman. Well, did I take the underwear off before I put the head off? No. Give me the hat. Give, give, give me the boots. You need all this, Superman. Yeah, well, I need the glasses. You don't want somebody to recognize me, do you? Where's that doctor? Well, here with me today is Little Orphan Annie's guardian, Daddy Warbucks. Now, Mr. Warbucks is having a little party here today to celebrate his recent purchase of the state of Wyoming. Mm, hi there, boy. Hello, Mr. Warbucks. Gee, 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 gee. I'm sorry I'm late. Just come back from the barber shop, had my head buffed. Oh. <laughs> Did you have a glass of indelible ink? Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Mr. Warbucks, can you tell us, first of all, yeah. why did you buy the state of Wyoming? Oh, uh, to curb Annie's dog, Sandy. <laughs> oh, those dog hairs get on you. I tell you, you can't get them off. This suit picks up everything but women. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Warbucks, yeah. I'd certainly like to you ask like you... You like this suit? Very nice. Eugene Paulette designed it for me. I see. <laughs> Mr. Warbucks, what about your visit to the United States Treasury? Now, I hear it on good authority. You went there to discuss a loan. That's right. I lent them $2 billion. <laughs> it's kind of low there, the reserve, you know. How rich are you, Mr. Warbucks? Mm, huh? Mm, huh? I say, how rich are you? Mm, yes, yes, yes. Just speak in the stick pit. <laughs> I say, how rich are you? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm so well off, my boy. Billions come in every week. Billions. In fact, I'm going to take little Annie out of her job in the coal mine. <laughs> Last week, the canary died. <laughs> she ate it. <laughs> that kid will eat anything. Speaking of her, Get you out of home and mansion, I'll tell you. That. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of little Where are you, Annie? kid? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yes. Speaking of little orphan Annie, now I've heard it on very good authority that uh, uh, beside being her guardian, you have another girl that you take care of. Huh? Yeah. What do you call her again? Oh, I call her about twice a week. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to see her anymore. She's a cat. She'll scratch your eyes out. We'll move it right along. In my case, you'd have a problem, though, would you? <laughs> I'd like to ask you, what's the... I'm sure everyone wants to know this. Yeah. What's the biggest purchase you ever made? Let me see. Yeah, I remember. Biggest purchase I ever made yes. is when I gave a guy $600,000 for a stack of $550,001 bills. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Hmm? You gave a man $600,000 for a stack of five hundred and fifty. dollars thousand one dollar bills? Gee, 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 you bet. <laughs> Daddy Warbucks, hmm? you cheated yourself out of fifty thousand dollars. I did. Well, of course you did. Oh, hold it. Let me figure that out. <laughs> gee, 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 How'd you like to be my accountant? No, no thanks. I'll, I'll stick to the recording. I'll buy now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> back to our show. How about a tank? I'll set you up for Fritzy Ritz. Fritzy! Come on over here, baby. <laughs> Come here, Fritzy. Bring Sluggo. <laughs> Back to the show. Our show.
Tonight's party is for Mandrake the Magician, honoring his 30 years in the comic strips. Hello, Mandrake. Good evening, Sir Carreto. <laughs> hey, let me help you, Mandrake. I don't know how Rudy Cardenas does it. <laughs> see. It Mandrake, is... Mandrake, as I understand it, your it chief skill is in making people yes. see things that actually don't exist. That is that shall true? I'll do that right now before you. Very apps. Would you please give me a drum roll oh. and watch the floor, please? Drum roll. Don't be scared, it's only a cheap theatrical trick. How do you do, Simply do. Mandrake, I know you're famous for making things completely Nothing up disappear. Here. Nothing up to here. Nothing. I didn't know you were going to do all of these things, Mandrake. And now, a little cloth for the top. Don't worry, there's still a few blows left in it. Mandrake, yes. I understand that you, your, your chief skill is in making people completely disappear, or, or rather see things that, that actually don't exist at all. How do you use this in, uh, in fighting crime? Well, for example, I make the criminal think I have a gun in my hand. Well, wait a minute, what do you do if he tries to escape from you? I shoot him, silly. <laughs> but you don't have a gun. Yes, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> you see these flowers I'm holding? Yes. Yes. This is an illusion that I've created. It's amazing. Do you have any other tricks? Do I have any other tricks? Yes, yes, yes. Would you hold that, please? Yes. <laughs> the greatest ability is the ability of the mind, the mind to be able to transmit thoughts. I see. Yes. Would you kindly think of something, please? Are you thinking? Yes. All right. Concentrate. 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 Are you concentrating? Yes, I am. Did you see what I wrote on the card? No. <laughs> Thank you very much. You see, Lothar and I have... <laughs> Fire out of a tin box. It's just a lighter, Mandrake. Promise me you'll teach me to do that. 